I be on it all night, man. I be on it all day. day. Straight up, pimp. If you want me, you can find me in the air. I'm on it, 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 I'm on it. My people, my people. What it is, I am T Ward, Y L H B. I'm back up in this thing, man. What it is, YouTube, what it is, what is happening in with y'all this day. Now, what I got on deck today is, uh, I know y'all seen a lot of YouTubers do it as recent as our uh, sneaker editions and my guy Mike Ricks. I'm gonna jump on that same wave and do my uh, top five Jordan ones in my collection, y'all. Now before I uh, 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 start my countdown of the top five joint wazons in my collection, I hit up my P.O. box because I was expecting a package. But to my surprise, there was a second package there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. But, but the package I was expecting is from my guy Rudy, King underscore Rudy87 on IG. So let's go and unbox this thing, man, see what he sent me, man. Got that foot action bag on deck. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh man. We got Rudy sent us uh son Jordan a pair of Jordan 4 Motorsports. I ain't seen them this small like this. Box fell back there. This is my first time seeing them small like this, man. <laughs> Hey, Rudy, man. Hey, appreciate you, man. I appreciate it, man. My son, he gonna be clean when he step on the scene with these things on, man. Send him, send him some joy for Motorsport, man. That what's up, man. That's what's up. Now, this second package is from a John Paul Moore. I don't know what this is, so. Um, and them to it, but the opening ain't it. Oh, and that guy sent me a uh, Julio Jones, a Madden Ultimate Team 17 figurine, man. I could put it on uh, up there with my other ones, man. That's what's up, man. You must see me post uh, that Madden cover or something when I had bought the Madden. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you want some of the T Worcester and that Madden 18, hit me up on Xbox One. My gamer tag is T Ward and ATL. I'm whipping ass. And taking names, you know what I'm talking about? But, uh, hey, uh, what a name is? What a name is? Uh, 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 John Paul. Hey, dog. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Now, dog. on to my top five Jordan ones in my collection. So, here we go. With no further ado, here we go. We're gonna start with the, uh, bow. Bring it back. They can see it. Jordan. One UNC UNC paying homage to the University of North Carolina, where Jordan played his collegiate basketball. Man, this is a dope shoe. I had to end up paying a little bit over retail because um, I missed the uh, I missed the release on it. I was trying to get it online. They sold out online. No box was. That was when box was it, it was at its best. Well, box is still at it, but. Them bots ate this up so quick, man. Um, I didn't get a chance to get them, but ate too much over retail. Um, I think I paid about 200 strip ones for them. But the uh, quality on here is pretty decent. It's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna bring them out one of these days, probably next summer sometime. But the UNC Jordan ones is number five. And number four is one of my favorite baseball players. I'm not a fan of the team. But I am a fan of the player. Jordan 1. OG Derek Jeter. Now this is the OG right here. I don't know what they brought out this year. Uh, that was trash compared to what this is. The, the quality on here is a whole lot better. And I think the other one they brought out like was with a gum bottom. I know a lot of people wish they would have um, retro these. I, at first I was like, why they just didn't bring these back out? But I'm kind of glad they didn't. So with all the general releases and stuff like that, more and more people get access to Jordans and uh, having Jordans that people don't have is becoming a rarity. So it's to have something that, you know, everybody else don't have. And the story of how I got these is, uh, this was a restock shoe um, because I missed, no, 
No, no, no, that's not what happened. What happened was the original release date when these dropped, um, Nike had all kinds of problems because people were trying to get on the website to get it. And their service went down. So they rescheduled the date uh, for the release date of these. And uh, I stayed online for about, um, I think I was on my phone. I, I was on, it was on my phone. It was before the sneakers app. It was back when you had to actually go to the Nike website and wait in that little virtual line or whatever. Um, I stayed online about an hour and it carded. And you talking about somebody was lit, was happy, they, they carded these. What I like about Nike's website is when you cart a shoe, it stays in your car for about 30 to 45 minutes if I'm not mistaken. Anything like from foot size, like Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, Finish Line, you can cart something, but it's hard to check out because people have bots. And by the time you go in and put your information, you come back, you, you hit place order, it says nothing in, in, nothing is in your car. So um, I, I don't I don't know why Foot Locker, the foot sites won't won't do that, give you give you a grace period to check out. And because I was so patient, man, I, I started to give up. I like, man, I ain't finna get these things, man. End up getting them, man, an hour later they carted it. And I checked out, that's how I got them. Next up at number three, we got the uh, Jordan 1 OG. Put that, put that, put that lace in that thing. There you go, there you go. Shattered backboard, man. These right here are the uh, golden standard for um, retro ones. But I believe the um, from what I'm, well, from what I'm hearing, is the sale ones are better than these. It was hard for me to believe that at first. I hadn't got the sale ones yet in hand, but they coming. So I'll be able to test it out myself and see. Um, it you know how they can how close they compare to these or if they even better than these but this colorway is dope I like this colorway. Uh, I missed these on release day. I had to pay hella stripper ones for these But I didn't care. You know why? Because Yeezy bought them. Thank you Yeezy. You're welcome I got these from Urban Necessities. Yeah, and y'all know how Urban Necessity prices is. So at number two now, I may catch a little flat with this. I don't know. I don't know. But this has a little twist to it. It's because I didn't want the same Jordans to be like everybody else joins in their top fives. At number two, we have the Jordan 1 Top Tree. Let me explain. Okay, this is the reason why I chose this as uh, number two because it has the top three ones that I that I like in my collection in one shoe. It has the Chicago, it has the Royal one, and it has the Band one all in one if shoe. If I would have you know, put three of these shoes in my top, um, my top five, it would have been like everybody else's, you know what I'm saying? In a way it is, but it kind of cheat a little bit. I'm putting it in one shoe. So um, that's the reason why this top three is number two because it has three of my shoes, the top three shoes in one particular shoe. And if, again, if it was a top five, I wouldn't have had nothing but two shoes to choose from. You know what I'm saying? So Jordan one top, top three. And then, and then I'm number one. We have the Jordan 1 Chicago. Just a dope shoe, iconic shoe, iconic silhouette, period. And the way I got these was so was so easy, man. Um this this how I got these. This was back when the sneakers out like first kind of started. I was at work. I think it was about 2 2 p.m. Eastern time or something like that. And I just happened to have my phone in my hand. And I seen the notification from the sneaker app said Jordan won Chicago. I'm like, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, man. And my size was still there. I clicked on my size, uh, put my little password in, and I, man, I swear, like five seconds later, it said got him. That was one of those surprise drops. This was this wasn't from the original release when it first released. This was from a restock. 
and um, I just happened to get lucky and got them, man. Just happened to have them on my phone in my hand and caught them. With all that being said, what I need you to do is hit that like, comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about my top five. What, what are your top fives in your collection? But most of all, most of all, most of all, what I need you to do is rock that bell in that corner, man, so you can be a part of that T-Wars, the notification squad, man. Until then, I am out like a light. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, 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 in my bank account. I got one, two, three.